Welcome to Studio T. This is in Tucker's mailbox. Today I will share a letter from Marge Silk, one of the few remaining eyewitnesses to the crash of the Hindenburg. Dear Tucker, I want I went to see the Hindenburg come in at Lake Hurst with my half brother, father, and brother, and a neighbor boy. My half brother worked at night and a Bakery, so he asked if we wanted to see the ship come in. We were home for lunch, so we went to a neighbor to call the school that we would be dismissed for the afternoon. It was still the depression and we couldn't afford a phone. The neighbor's son wanted to go with us so he and my brother sat in the rumble seat, seat of a 1934 Chevy convertible. It took us hours to get there because there was no highway and we left at 1 p.m. and arrived there 75 miles away at 4 p.m. the ship was supposed to come in a little after four, but because there were thunderstorms, they didn't come in until after 7 p.m. We watched we watched them drop water that was used as ballast to keep the ship steady. Then they dropped two ropes for two hundred ground men to pull it to the pylon, pylon to let the passengers come down when All of a sudden, all of a sudden, there was an explosion by the right side motor, and seconds the whole ship 
was on fire. The ground men ran for their lives. The ship caught the last 16 year old helping to pull it in and he was killed. They had asked the boys in Lakehurst to help pull the ship because there weren't enough sailors. We ran for our lives and being only 11, they just ran over me twice. I was trembled, the heat was so intense in seconds it was on the ground and people ran to try and save some of the passengers some jumped from the ship i lost my father and brothers but i stayed in the area where we were standing and watched them put the wounded in a truck with a canvas top one man sitting by the back opening was so burned that his skin fell off his face and hanging with black edges. I finally found my family and we watched and we watched all that was going on. We couldn't leave because so many people came to see it and we couldn't get our car out. We arrived home at 3.15 in the morning and there were all of our neighbors and police there. They thought we were killed too. I didn't go to school for three days. I had a fever and was in shock of that. I saw sincerely Marge Thelk. Click that subscribe button to follow along. Thank you for watching.